Hi, this video is brought to you by TechDirectArchive.com. In this video, I'll be showing you how to permit a blocked file or app in Windows Security manually. Sometimes you will notice that your Windows Defender will pick some file or application that you want to install or some file that you downloaded on your system as virus, but they are not actually a virus. So, in this video, I will show you how to permit such a file or application inside the Windows Defender. So, I'm going to launch, uh, I'm going to open my Windows Security now. Under Windows Security, you will see by your left, you will see virus and threat protection. So, click on it. So that the virus and threat protection, you will see protection history. So this will give you the history of uh, some files or applications that have been blocked on your system. So click on it. So this is my old history. Um, there is this file that I just downloaded. That is why you see this potentially unwanted app found. So um, let me go to the location of that file now. This is the file. This is the application file. So if I try to run this now, you will see. Can you see the message I'm getting? Uh, potentially unwanted are found. So now let me go back to my window security because I want I want to allow it. I want to permit it. So under the uh, potentially unwanted are found, I just so just click this drop down. So once you click this drop down, you will see this. Uh, actions so you can click on these actions then you will see allow on device so you can go ahead and click on allow on device i'm going to click that now so you can see from the screen now that uh, the potentially unwanted app have now been allowed so We've uh, successfully added it to uh, among among the allowed uh, files or application that Windows Defender will not uh, uh, be going against. So once uh, Windows Defender is scanning our files, it is not going to pick this particular application file as a virus or an unwanted app file so that is uh that so once you found out that uh, you mistakenly added an unwanted app what you need to do now is uh you go back to virus prote uh, protection virus and threat protection then you will see allowed threats click on it it's going to show you what you have allowed or mistakenly allowed this is what we just allowed so you just click on it then you will see don't allow just click don't allow so it's going to roll back so let us go back to protection history now then you will see it there so aside from using this you can also make use of exclusion so just go back to virus and threat protection then you will see virus and threat protection settings so click on manage settings so under manage settings when you scroll down you will see exclusions so with these exclusions you can add the file you want windows defender not to scan 
So just go ahead and add exclusion. Or in case you want to remove an exclusion, you can also make use of it via these rules. So I'm going to click it now. So on this exclusions page, you are going to see this button here, add an exclusion. Click on it. Then you will see a drop down file folder file type process. So once you click on a file, it's going to take you to the location, or a folder is going to take you to the location. Then you can also add a file type. If it is if you know the file type that you want Windows Defender to allow, you can add it. Then you can go to the file location or folder location, then you add it. Then Windows Defender will exclude it from what it needs to scan. So this is another way you can do this. The other way is, uh, let's go back to the virus and threat protection. Under virus and threat protection settings, you can click manage settings. So under this place, you can toggle this real time protection. Um, and some other ones but this majorly this real time protection you can toggle it off you can as well toggle this cloud deliver protection then once you do that the windows defender will not scan your file as at that particular moment but have it at the back of your mind that when you turn this off you are at a risk of virus getting into your system because windows defender we always defend protect your system real time so be careful as you toggle this to off the real time protection so these are some of the steps you can take in uh, allowing your file not to be scanned by windows defender once you do all this setting, the um, Windows Defender will permit your block file or application in Windows security. So this is a way you can do it manually. All the steps are covered. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.